Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? What's up? And welcome back to the show. I think I'm going to call this show Teaching Myself How to Cook, okay? But anyway, anyway, so today this recipe is inspired by Miss Ellie Kreiger, and I'll be teaching you and also myself how to cook this turkey meatloaf, all right? Now, the chicken meatloaf came out good for me, and hopefully it comes out good for you. All right, let's get this party started, man. We're going to start from the back, and we're going to work our way to the front. And that's exactly what she said. So we got ketchup, we got Worcestershire sauce, wor Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, whatever the hell that is. We got salt, we got tomato sauce. Just want to point that out. I paid 35 cents per can for this. So I really hope it's good. Almond milk, got the Quaker oats, I got the ground turkey, I got the chopped onions, what the hell? Black pepper, got the two eggs, but beat it, and one red pepper, what the hell? Chopped. Now, before we get started, we're gonna put that oven on good old 350, okay? And then we're gonna put that Quaker oats in a bowl, eh, and then put the almond milk in there, bloop, and then you're gonna mix it, just like this. All right, so this right here is where it gets kind of weird. I didn't have a bowl, so I used a pot. Yeah, I need to invest in a bowl. But anyway, we gonna put the turkey up in there. Boom. We're gonna put the oat and almond mix in. Bing! The onions in. Splash. Red peppers. Splash. Eggs. Splash. Workers to sharp. Ketchup. Salt. And pepper. And now it's time to dive our hands in and get dirty. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Now, I had already put all this together, and guess what? My freaking camera was not recording, so I had to go back and make it look like that I didn't do it. So, just to let you guys know, that's what happened, and uh, that's why it looked kind of weird before I put my hands in it. Okay. All right, so once again, I made a stupid decision. I should have got a meatloaf pan, but instead what I did was I grabbed a pan from the bottom of my cabinet in a nonstick pan. So if you guys are watching this video, please get you a classic loaf pan to cook this in. Anyway, um, I had to put the meatloaf in the pan and I had to actually make a loaf. And that was so hard for me. I didn't do a good job. So I did the best I can. Remember that cheap red tomato sauce that I had? Yeah, we went and put that up on top of there. Now, when you put it on there, be careful, because my dumb ass put too much on there one time, and the ketchup just went, sorry, tomato sauce just went everywhere. So you're going to take a spoon, and you're going to just lather it across all the freaking meatloaf, okay? And just make sure that it looks neat, okay? Because what you see here is just not what it is. Alrighty then, now we have more onions. Now if you love onions like I do, go ahead and add some more onions on the top. Now I had to stop and admire this right here for a second because this looks like a big pile of shit. I mean this looks horrible, but I gotta continue to remind myself that I am teaching myself how to cook. So uh, let's keep the party going. And you gonna open that stove and you gonna throw that puppy right on in there for an hour. Yes, 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 before you ask, that is a cutting board because I didn't have anything else to put the meatloaf on. Now, put the meatloaf on a cutting board or whatever you have. Put that green stuff that makes everything look good, even though it may not be good. Parsley. And there you have it, every sexy beast that's watching this video. Here's your healthy meatloaf. Now, it may not be good to you, but it was good to me, okay? I'm open to criticism. I'm open to suggestions, okay? So if you don't mind, Leave comments and comments below. Subscribe and tell me what I need to improve on, all right? Love y'all. Take care. I'll holla.